Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Uh, I have a game called Evil Genius's Evil Genius 2. Uh, world, do world Domination. Uh, this is a pretty cool looking game and it kind of feels like something that would be good for the channel. It's kind of a management sim sort of sci-fi parody type game uh which you know i like parodies i think that they're hilarious and honestly this game looked pretty good so uh, i picked it up and i'm super excited to play it and uh so yeah let's uh click to start i guess all right so brightness uh, too bright let's go a little bit brighter than usual uh all right that's good Build mode auto pause. See, I don't know what any of that really means yet, so we're just going to, you know, not worry about it. Auto save, auto save frequency, 20, 10 minutes, that seems fine. Um, okay, I'd say all this stuff is probably good. There's really no way we can test out anything yet, and I don't know what I'm doing. Fixed camera rotation. Uh, no. I don't want it. Okay. So I guess auto pause when the genius comes under attack. Build mode auto pause. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna confirm. Don't know what any of this means. So yeah. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and start a new game. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a tutorial. Quick start. Create new. Uh, jump right into a game as Maximilian or in medium difficulty. I create a new game by choosing a genius, island, and difficulty setting. Dominate the world at your own pace and build the layer of your dreams. Uh, nope. We're just gonna create new. Alright, so we've got four geniuses that we can select. And this sound seems to be a little loud. Let's go ahead and turn this music down. So, like 60%? Maybe lower than that? Then turn the sound to 7, 80, 70. There we go. Okay, that seems a little bit better. All right. So, Maximilian or Red Ivan? Uh, Zalak, Zalaki, Zalaki. Ah, uh, Zal, Zalika, Zalika, Emma. Okay, easy name. Uh, well. So we I mean, nobody's really blue, uh, which is very unfortunate. Emma's kind of close. Uh, X spy master turned poison pro. Uh, mega rich meg megalo megalomaniac. Uh, so okay, so abilities do change. Okay, order min minions to prioritize jobs in Maximilian's vicinity. Instantly completes any minion training near Maximilian. Uh, Max knows when to rely on overwhelming numbers and when to get a specialist in to do the job. Max can earn gold more reliably than anyone else and starts with additional minions. Hmm. Well, I do like money, and it seems like gold is, you know, a important thing to uh, to have. So Maximilian sounds pretty promising. Well, let's look at Red Ivan too. Uh, order minions to prioritize jobs in Red Ivan's vicinity. Okay, wait, that seems to kind of be similar. Uh, additionally, any nearby minions receive a combat boost. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ivan equips a rocket launcher and fires a devastatingly powerful explosive shot. Warning, chaos may ensue. Uh, Mike takes right. Born in battle, Ivan is capable of marshalling a large number of muscle minions without paying quite so much. Even his workers pack a better punch. Okay, that, that's pretty handy. My plans take priority. Order minions to prioritize jobs and... Uh, so, uh, science minions receive a bigger boost. Ah, so I'm kind of seeing that, like, Maximilian kind of has sort of the base abilities, almost. And then the other characters kind of do something additional to it. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, immediately repair all items and extinguish fires in her era. Uh, uses smarts and nanobots. Zalika knows everything. Her science minions are more capable than most, uncovering the mysteries of the universe much quicker. Well, that seems also pretty useful too. Um, but is it more useful than gold? I don't know. 
Order minions to prioritize jobs in Emma's vicinity also increases the spawning power of any nearby minions. Emma bolsters her henchmen, resetting their cooldowns and giving them an edge. Emma's history as the head of Hammer has left her with an intimate knowledge of her foes. Her deception minions are more efficient and she can reduce heat more efficiently across the world. Okay, so this character also seems pretty useful too, but I think I'm gonna go with Maximilian. Uh, I know it's kind of like, kind of lame because he's kind of like the the uh, the default character, but hey, the gold, the gold guys. Um, all right, let's go ahead and go next. Okay, exclusive isolated evil. Uh, so crown gold. Okay. So, Crown Gold is a classic tropical paradise casino. A lush flora covering the imposing mountaintop t makes it an ideal backdrop for any holiday snap. Okay. I mean, this place looks pretty cool, too. I think we're going to go with this place. This place looks pretty sick. Alright. Pre-order legendary loot. Take an additional side stories to acquire the legendary Fountain of Youth and the Trojan Horse. Oh, sure. We'll do that. Uh, medium. A standard difficulty, a challenge, but nothing a genius like you can't handle. That's right, I am a genius. Uh, ideal for players familiar with the genre. Okay. I feel pretty familiar with this type of genre. Um, challenge for most diabolic genius. Ideal for players looking for some extra challenge. Uh, custom. Okay. So basically, medium, hard, or custom. I'm not gonna go easy. That's, that's a little lame. Uh, I'm debating whether or not medium or hard. Huh. I. Mm, You know, we'll go with medium. Just, just cause you know, I don't, I don't know this Nate game. There's doesn't seem like there's a tutorial. Who knows what I'm doing? All right, moving in. Achievement unlocked. Sick. Already getting achievements. the camera controls to move the camera in and out. Kind of seems like maybe we might actually have to play on V-Sync. Yeah, it seems to be pretty good. I don't really like how the dragging works. It kind of feels... It doesn't feel as smooth as other games. But, that's okay. All right, so what am I supposed to do? Okay. Oh, wait. Tilt Use camera. Tilt control. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Who do what? you think you are, giving me instructions like that? Yeah, true. I don't need a tutorial. Uh, I, I'm here to help by telling you exactly what to do next in a friendly and helpful manner. But you are here to do everything I say. Correct. Step one. Tell us what you want, and the minions will do it. We're eager to please. Uh, and also, e eager to live. Please stop looking at me like that. New main objective available. Okay, open the building. Your lair will be much more impressive once it has more rooms. Okay. Open the build menu. Okay, oh, the You vault. need a place to store your gold. Oh, yes, I do. Select ah. the vault icon. Paint tiles over the highlighted area. Oh, this okay. will be where we'll build your vault. Ah, I see. Gold pallets will increase the amount of gold you can keep in your lair. Okay. It's best not to leave your gold sitting in the open. Add a door to your vault. 
Wait for your minions uh. to install the door before moving on. Oh, look at him go. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like a... It's a little bit like, um... Oxygen not included. You tell your minions what to do, and then they will do it as they are able to. That looks pretty good. I wouldn't mind having a vault. So it seems like they have to go all the way back here. So there's like some sort of receiving over here. New main objective available. Now your gold is safe. Let's add another room to the lair. Oh, Minions the need to rest after a day of evil deeds. Ah, uh, they don't need the rest. What? Nah, they don't need this. This is silly. Oh wait, that was just instantly built. Places to sleep when their vitality or morale start to run low. What? Oh. Guess it needed to rotate. Items can be rotated freely with the rotate controls. Items that need to be placed next to a wall will automatically rotate. Place okay. some beds on the other side of the barracks. Open the system's menu. Okay, Q and E seems a little bit better to rotate the camera. So I'll try to get used to that. Optional objectives will give you small, frequent challenges. Dream of Collect world domination? For a reward. Collect. Come back here often for main objectives, side stories, and optional objectives. New main objective available. Food is an essential part of any minion diet. Without it, Man, minions really need a lot. Can we just cut this out entirely? Much less intelligent. Build a mess hall. You can right, I kind of feel like I, I, I get the you can also understanding of this. They've been constructed. Available. Okay, for some reason that wasn't basically Basic built. Counters restore minion smarts and vitality, and stop stomachs from rumbling. Ah, uh, this is okay. So this is our goal. Commitments, salaries, maximum volt capacity. Ah, uh, okay. So we actually do have to worry about the volt capacity. That's kind of cool. So this is kind of like a mix of like a tower defense game and a management game, I believe. So there's going to be certain times when we have to like uh, defend this area. And also we also have to attack other areas too, uh, which is kind of cool. And we also have to worry about like producing and production and stuff like that. Basic food counters restore minion smarts and vitality and stop stomachs from rumbling. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. So I think we finished. Uh, construct lockers in barracks. Okay, two? That's not too bad. Alright, so where can we put these? Let's go ahead. Ah, oh. oh, perfect. Oh, wait a second. How can I cancel that? Okay, it doesn't seem like right click cancels. Um, can I actually not? Oh, okay, we can just. Is there a shortcut for that? For undo? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, that's really unfortunate. Um, I don't like that. Maybe what we'll do is we'll get rid of. How can we destroy stuff? Like, how can we move this? New main objective Edit. Available. Move. It seems we're low let's, on power. Uh, let's move let's it towards the center. Continuing. 
Build space for a power station. You can place this where you like, but be careful, as it will be a tempting target for enemy agents. There we go. Quite a few lockers. Okay, uh, so it seems that we're low on power. Let's fix that before continuing to build space for a power station. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a power station. Now, where does it want us to build that? It uh, doesn't seem like it wants us to do it specifically in anywhere, so I guess we'll do it where we need to? Okay, so let's go ahead and do it over here. So I'm going to guess that we'll want a door here. So we'll go here. Generators oh, actually, power items shoot. in the lair. Without it, I don't like almost that. nothing will I'll function. This. Be careful. Oh, wait. As enemy agents will attempt to sabotage your generators How much? if they find them. Three, four. Oh, that's annoying. Corridor. Confirm. Okay, so I think, yeah, we'll want a door. Oh, jeez, that is pretty big. Ah, oh, nice. We can fit three. That's pretty good. I think that'll be more than enough. Hopefully they can... Uh, it doesn't seem like uh, it sure is dark isn't... Okay. Minion is on their way. Minions are really slow. I guess they do have to travel across like the whole thing. So let's see here. Game Master. Hosts a weekly tabletop RPG with friends. Sees dead people and talks to them too. Okay, so there's actually like... Knows a trick or two. Magic enthusiast. Bookworm loves to spend free time settled down with a good book. Defeated agents good lie reflexes, passive. Causing minions uh, to dang. lose morale if they get too close. Build an incinerator in your power station to dispose of them. Wait. Yikes. So we have to just incinerate? Wait, why did why does an incinerator go into the... That's kind of strange. Okay, I guess we should expand this area then. Let's go ahead and expand it like four blocks, maybe? And then... Yeah, I think only one incinerator for now. New optional objective available. Okay, so we have a nice Open canteen. The selection panel, then select we got the barracks. I don't know what this is about. Your evil genius. What is... What's going on right here? Open the character selection panel, then right-click on the evil genius. Uh, okay. I'm thinking... With the evil genius selected, interact anywhere in the highlighted area to move your genius. You need ah. a control room to send minions into the world. Let's lay down a plan for them. So we'll, we'll, we kind of want the evil genius to be close by, I suppose, all the time. So we need a um, control room. Where should we have a control room? I'm also seeing that we have quite a bit of space over here, which we don't really have access to yet. So maybe what we'll do 
is we'll build a corridor. Right through here. Yeah. That looks good. And then we will go ahead and build the control room on this side. Like that. Provide broadcast strength, allowing us to maintain criminal networks across the globe. The more broadcast strength you generate with your radio repeaters, the more of the world you can infiltrate. For now, let's just infiltrate everything. Oh, we should also probably build. A door as well. It's kind of strange that uh, the vault door isn't any different. So that's alright. Assuming indirect control. So we have 22 power available to us. Uh, gold seems to be doing pretty good. I don't. I, I don't know if we're actually making gold yet. I don't think so. Maybe we are. Maybe we're making a little bit. Doesn't really show. Alright, let's go and collect reward. And construct radio repeater. Okay, we're working on that. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead and get this guy. The one in here. Speed people up. Okay. The more broadcast strength you generate with the radio repeaters. Okay, yes. He's already said that. Okay. Available. Global Heads operation. To the stage. Each of the highlighted regions is an excellent place to start your journey towards world domination. Select a suggested region or any other region if you know what you are doing, and scout it to establish a criminal network. Okay, let's go ahead and scout Brazil. And uh, let's go ahead and scout this. I guess Eastern you can speed Smash things Republic. Up by selecting fast forward at any time. Ah, okay. Once built, you can use our criminal network to run schemes in this region. Hmm. Okay. Seems New like we'll just. New optional objective available. New optional objective. Wait, we've already constructed two generators. Do we need more? Hire six more minions? Uh, okay. I'm all packed, boss. Send me into the world, and I'll come back with plenty of gold. Oh, yeah, you will. Come back. You think you're coming back? No, I'm not having you coming back here, checking justice all over the place like mud. They'll follow you right to my door, and then where would we be? Take a little gold for yourself, then send the rest back here. Use your share to live a quiet life. Or else... Wait, Maximilian. You seem to be actually kind of nice. We can't just leave them. Minions will travel to the world and run any scheme you select. You will receive small amounts of gold as they progress. Wait a second. What? No, she's coming back. Uh, oh, I guess we have to click on this. Launch scheme, two workers. Uh, it seems like 30 seconds. Rewards, 5,000 gold. Okay. 
Confirm. New main objective available. Oh no. A prison will make for the perfect place to hold the vault. your enemies. The vault is full. Questioning them. A prison will make for the perfect place to hold your enemies. Okay. I guess we got to go make a uh, prison now. All right. Show a prison. Huh? Well, we don't want a prison to be over here. So let's maybe make a prison a over here. Succeeded. The scheme's already succeeded. Jeez, we're full on gold though. Okay, I guess we just need to. Okay. So let's get a little prison. Nine by ten, actually. Kind of. I doesn't seem like we can mine that stuff. So we'll just do a. Nice eight these by eight, I suppose. Hold one prisoner each. Wait, these you hold one prisoner each. Cells, your oh, oh, holding people. cells, holding cells. Oh, okay. Whew, that scared me a little bit. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Once this interrogation chair is built, ah, shoot. we can use it to make prisoners tell us their secrets. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta change this. So uh, they're three by three. So let's make it nine by nine. Yeah, and then we can have a nice uh, vault door. Uh, we also need an interrogation chair. Okay. So let's get. Vault door. Ah, oh, that's gonna look bad though. Alright, undo that. Mind this. There we go. We gotta we gotta think about presentation here, you know? We are making a secret layer, but we still want it to look good. Uh, excuse me, game. Your criminal networks are okay. idle. Places. Running some schemes. There. Okay, it seems like these are 3x3 three three too. Uh, but it also seems like uh, these are a little bit more difficult. Because you need to have it so people can stand on two sides of it. Medium so we'll place one there. Available. And then one. Experiment with interrogating there. agents. You never then we'll know place what a vault. Secrets you will uncover. Oh, wait. We already have that there. Okay, perfect. All right, there we go. Experiment will inter uh, with interrogating agents. You never know what secrets you, you will uncover. Okay, cool. Okay, so build prison tile. Wait, aren't I doing that? Construct holding cell. Oh, okay, there we go. Hopefully that's enough tiles. I don't know if it is. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Uh, so I think we need to expand on the vault because we really can't store that much yet. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Just back it up right here. It's kind of a strange looking thing. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe at some point we can upgrade our shovels or something and we can mine this or and maybe we can at any point. And that would... Right, that's okay. Not enough gold to complete this construction. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Head to the world stage to recruit a scientist. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, you know, if you guys liked what you saw and you guys are brand new to the channel, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you guys also like this as well and you guys are here, have been here before or you're new, uh, then go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, I would also like to uh, thank the Patreons that support this channel, and if you too would like to become a Patreon, you can go ahead and support me in the description down below. Have a fantastic day, you guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode.